All right, y'all, Snoopy's gang, we're here at the Wings Up. So I decided to go here. We're gonna do a video on this place right here. It's pretty nice and spacious. Got a pretty dope menu right there. So let's get into it. All right, gang, so this is what we ended up getting. We ended up getting the hot honey, which I've had before and is amazing, but I've never filmed it for you guys. So we, we got just four of these classic, and then we're gonna try for the first time ever the lemon pepper breaded. So this is a dry rub and I'm a huge fan of lemon pepper so we didn't get into that. We got some ranch and then we got some upgraded lemon pepper fries. So I'm gonna see what that's about. But stay tuned y'all, you know. All right, Snoopy's 408 back with another video you guys. All right, so um, what we got right here is some delicious ass wings. I gotta say it just off top, off the rip. You feel me? It's called Wings Up. You'll see it in the beginning of the video. Um, I've had this place twice before and it is freaking bomb. So if anybody's looking for a good wing spot, I highly recommend it. This is probably my number one favorite wing spot right now. I did do a wing stop video a year ago. It was good, but to me, the chicken was a bit small, a little bit overcooked. Like they try to get it crispy, but to me, it was just a little bit on the dry side, but their ranch is like knockout. But this right here, straight bang it anyway we're about to get right into it because i don't want to speak anymore i'm hungry i want to get into this uh the flavor i have right here is hot honey and then i've had the hot honey before straight banging this is their lemon pepper now lemon pepper used to be and is still on my top three favorite flavors of wings period i've never had these ones but these ones are a dry rub as you can see right here and they're also breaded these ones are classic regular all right, and then they upgrade. I upgraded my fries from just wedges to lemon wedges, which I've never had before. We got some carrots and some celery. We got some extra ranch, of course. Their sauce is bomb. For the pull up, we got some Dr. Pepper. So let's do that right now. Get into it. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already, you've been watching, you've been down, you've been rocking with me for a minute, you still haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that like button, the notification bell so you don't miss a video every time I upload, which hopefully will be more than I have been because I've been taking a lot of gaps here and there, but i also been... Um, going away a lot so it's been a blessing um either way so let's pour some dr pepper up in here real quick we'll take a sip we'll get right to it i'm probably gonna end up using a fork for them uh wedges but anyway cheers y'all all right let's crack open these ranch now, I'm going to retaste these ranch sauces again, but from what I remember, like, these are bomb. Like, the only, my only issue is that they don't have, like, a larger size. Like, Wingstop, you can get, like, a big bucket of, uh, of the ranch, which is classic. Everybody knows. But anyway, we'll let it work and do what it do. Oh, man. Which one should I try first, dog? Which one should I try first? All right, I'm going to go in for the, the lemon pepper one. I'm going I'm to do the wing. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. It's it's super beautiful, super bright. I can feel the tenderness already. It's crunchy on the outside. Let's try it without the branch. Off top, that's a banging ass rib wing. That's a rib. Mmm. Mmm. Yo, the lemon pepper is on point. Mmm. Straight up on point. You know, I'm I'm gonna do a comparison between wings up and wing stop. But just off the rip, Wings Up is my favorite over them. But I'll be fair. Damn, my wings are bomb. Mm. Wash it down real quick, and now let's try it. <clears throat> A drum of the hot honey. It's nice and glazed up. This one's a nice saucy one right here. Try it without sauce. Mm. And they're not 
Let's see. Mm -mm. They're not hot. They have a little undertone of heat, just a tingle, but nothing. Anybody could eat this. Shout out to my homie Brooklyn, man. I was chopping it up with him on his live stream whilst I was waiting for my order, and my order it came, so I had to dip. That's why I dip, bro. good wedges i'm not a huge wedge fan they get you fast <clears throat> get you fast they get you full hella quick but yo these lemon peppers Killing it right now. Yo, shout out to Wings Up, man. I found one. It was about 10, give or take 10 or 12 minutes, which is in the downtown area from where I'm at right now. And that's right around the corner. And then I waited an extra 10 minutes to film because my daughter had to go to work. So it was a lot of clutter and noise in the background. So I'd let them leave. And then I started filming because this was piping hot. <clears throat> But I don't like to leave it in the plastic bag too long because then it'll get soggy. Mm. Hella good. So I picked up my movies, man. This Transformers Beast Wars is wicked. I love this movie. I watched it about four times, back to back. And then, of course, I got the classic. This is my favorite Ninja Turtles, these two right here. Even though the other old ones, the original ones are classic too, but I like the CGI Ninja Turtles. I want to see more people do this in mukbang videos. This was my favorite so far. But this one's still bomb though. <laughs> they make the wings perfect too. It's like, it's not too tender, even though I don't have a problem with that. 
Some people prefer not to have it too tender, which I don't mind, like I said. But it's got like a pull, like a, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's got a good chew on it. So watch, I'll take a bite. Especially these ones. These ones are way more tender. Mmm. So these are more sweet than hot. So I'm gonna look on the menu, which I have over here in the corner and see what their hottest wings are. Soak this one up. Soak him up. Look at that. You know. That's stupid how good these wings are. I'm not even capping. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys prefer your wings classic or breaded and sauced up or dry rub like this. Now, I'm a sauce guy, straight up, up and down, straight up sauce guy. But after having these here today, if they stay banging like that, if I try another flavor and they stay banging like that, I'm jumping on the dry rub bandwagon. But now here these again, these are bad. Their ranch is pretty dope. It's pretty good. It's super tasty too. And I know somebody's gonna be like, does it beat Wingstop? Um, I wouldn't say it beats it flavor wise. So this is a buttermilk ranch. That, that's what I was about to say, but it's thicker. So it's the buttermilk. Okay, because I was about to say, because this, the texture of this one is uh, way more hearty.
This one's spicier. But this is not an opinion, this is a fact. For a wing to be like spicy, you got to like cut up or even mince up like a chili pepper and cook it in the sauce. You can't take wings out of a fryer and then hit it with some black pepper and then, you know, some red honey. And then next thing you know, you're like, oh yeah, these are spicy. These are boss right here. Straight boss. If I was to recreate this meal and look back for you guys and recommend it, it would be <clears throat> these lemon peppers. With uh, wing stop corn, maybe a poutine on the side, and wing stop ranch. Straight up. Let's just think about that. Because I'd rather have the corn than the wedges. And I'll keep reaching over here. I don't want to say Andrew. Oh. Saving this last one right here <clears throat> for last.
I still have to be careful when I chew because I have this massive hole now in this tooth. <clears throat> I said I was going to go get it checked out, but I know how I am. I will let it go and go and go and chill. One day, I'm going to bite down. I'm going to get this massive pain and shock, like, shooting through my face. And then I'm like, ah, I got an emergency. <laughs> See, I'm chewing on this side. It's taking me longer to eat nowadays, but. And then I keep saying I'm going to do it. And then 10 seconds later, I just, it just slips my mind. I just don't really care to sit down in a dentist's office, man. And what I hate the most is after they rub that Novocaine or whatever on your gums, which is fine, and they numb you and they numb your lips, and they come back to check on you, poke around to see if you can still feel it. And if you're good to go, <clears throat> And you can't feel anything while well, they poke around. Then they take those two long needles, dude. This is the worst part. Them needles long like this, cuz look. And then they're like, they'll pull your lip down and then they'll inject it into your gum. And then they'll, they'll pull your lip like this, massage it and massage it and pull it. And then pull and lift up and you can feel your lip, lip lifted up. And then you feel the needle, even though it's not like, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that if you didn't have the anesthetic, that you'll bah, feel that prick and that shit will just hurt like a bitch. But you can still feel, especially if you have your eyes open and you're seeing them go like this and you see the needle going in, you, mm. you feel the pressure of the needle hitting either like right there in the soft spot between your gum and your lip. Arr. So I think about it, I go, oh man. And then one time my lip wasn't set like for a long time, like my lips are back to regular, like, like even. And for the longest time, unless it was me, it seemed like my lip was slightly off to the side. I don't know why. I didn't I didn't bite down on my lips when they were numb or healing or nothing like that. So it's no reason why it would have been like that. But I don't know. But I know. I can't run from it. I gotta, I gotta face it up. I gotta face it. Gotta get it done. It's not just one tooth, too. It's this one, too. This one has a whole. This one's like. This one. Oh, it's kind of hurting a little bit right now. This one right here is a big hole. It goes all the way down. All right. This one is chipped, but then now the hole is like etched out more clean. So now, all right, when you take your tongue and put it there, I can feel it. So I gotta get this and this removed. I've already had teeth removed before, like it's a pain in the ass, man. These lemon peppers, boy. Mm -mm -mm. My favorite. I fell back in love with them. I'm not wasting nothing.
Gonna tip these over for the little homies. So I'm also interested to know, before we get up out of here, if you guys have three of your favorite, most underrated mukbang uh, YouTubers um, that you watch a lot, that you like a lot, or that you support, or whatever the deal is, but three, give me three uh, super highly underrated mukbangers that um, you think earns that spot as you should see more on some of these other channels right um and shout out to all the smaller youtube channels out there that are that got great content that are um still growing um and if you love what you do like the struggle is real youtube you gotta have some tough skin um <clears throat> and it's an up and down road you know what i mean like i could be killing off videos every day but by the time i'm done work Probably go shoot a couple sessions of bingo. You know what I'm saying? Summertime's coming, so I'm gonna be out a lot. The kids are bigger, you know what I'm saying? They they wanna hang out more. So it's a far drive, you know, hour back and forth from where I'm at to where they're at. So that's important. Families is, is huge, you know what I mean? I've been doing this for a long time and I love it. And I'm gonna continue doing it. Um, but I do plan on, on dropping more more frequently. But that's the reason why I haven't really been dropping. It's not because I've been sick or ill or anything like that. I've just been busy. never go wrong with dr pepper yo. um but yeah so so that's why but i do um have the the home girl um vanessa do have some requests coming up soon so i'll be doing that i know i did a poll earlier talking about <clears throat> either wingstop or jollibees i miss jollibees so i'm actually hoping that you guys would lean more towards that but if it's wingstop you want to see then it's wingstop you're gonna get uh and this was originally gonna be a wingstop video today but as i was going Jumping in my car, I was setting up because I was going to do a car mukbang. And then I was looking up Wingstop to set on my GPS to get down there because it's somewhere in, uh, in Mississauga. Anyway, um, Wings Up popped up and it said 10 or 11 minutes away. And I was like, wait, is that right? So I clicked on it, seen the website. I was like, oh, shit, that's downtown. So it's, that's not that far from where I'm at. So I clicked on it. And say, all right, let's just, just go check this out, right? And then I remember, I was like, wait, hold on, dude. One night, we were in another city, and we were hungry, and I did not want no McDonald's. They didn't have no Wendy's around, nothing like that. And they were like, yo, whoop, whoop, wings, wings up, right? Went there, and it was so bomb. Ate there twice, maybe three times, and it was wicked. But anyway, I'm rambling, but yeah, uh, I highly recommend Wings Up. I would like, I'm actually, after this video... As I relax, I'm going to go look to see. I know Vart and Fresh has done it, uh, but I didn't get to watch the video uh, because I had punched it in while I was waiting for my food. But like I said, it came quick and then I just dipped. Um, but yeah, I want to see more Wings Up videos because I can vouch for it. Now that I've tried Wingstop last year and I've had this, this is my third time or fourth time having this. This is actually better. I, I got I got to say, I, I, I was kind of debating like, should I say that? But let me try it again before I put my mouth out there like that. And then, you know what I'm saying? Next, you know, people coming for my head. Not like it matters, though, because my ding, 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 ding. deflect all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so leave me a uh, comment down below. Who's your uh, top three favorite underrated, most underrated book baggers? And until the next time, man, I love y'all. Keep it banging. Keep it crispy. Until the next one. Peace out.